What's up y'all? My name is Barbara Hatchway. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are doing the viral TikTok trend of the skunk stripe or skunk patch, whatever you want to call it. But we did it reverse. You know what I mean? So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and let's begin. Okay? So y'all know, y'all see me I'm making the wig by hand because you know regular wigs don't fit on my big ass head. Okay? So this is how she looks. And then now we are going to start the process of sectioning the hair to prepare it to dye. Um, I'm going to be using Vaseline and got to be high insta hold I think it's called yeah high insta hold and we're gonna spray the, the uh, we're gonna use the hairspray first and spray it all over the frontal and then we're going to apply the Vaseline like slather it on and stuff so that there's no staining of the lace okay and then once we have applied all the Vaseline. We're going to flip the frontal properly back onto my very stained um, wig head. But this is one. I, this is the one I like to use when I'm dyeing wigs. I don't like to use a canvas blockhead. I mean, I could always get more foam blockheads, but it's okay. It's okay. It's calm. We move. Anyways, we're sectioning off the hair. We are going to do one middle section that's going to stay white, and then we're going to do two stripes where the temples line up on your head and right above where the ear starts i think i can't tell i can't remember i literally just filmed the application process today i don't know what my ring is going through and the wig is still currently on my head but um <laughs> we're going to part where the oh my god why am i blinking where the temples start yes and then um stop where the ear begins i think yeah yeah and then we're going to grab a track behind the um frontal so it can like blend and stuff so it doesn't show too much all right and then now i am using ion's bright white cream toner in the shade snow cap with 20 volume developer and then i am just going to apply it literally all over the wig um i don't measure in like the ratio for a developer and dye i don't i don't measure I need to stretch because I only bought one, one tube. And this was from the, this was from when I did the half rainbow, half white wig. Like, was it a year ago? I think it was a year ago. So we had to make a stretch and I didn't feel like going all the way to style. Let's go pick up another one because like, it'll be a waste. You know what I mean? But anyways, we're going to apply it all over. I don't really have to worry about it bleeding onto the other sides. Cause again, we're going to dye the section pieces a different color. And since the color is going to be darker than the bright white toner, I'm not too worried about it. But um, y'all see me apply it with the dye brush up in the beginning with the frontal. And then I am literally grabbing it in my hands and then slathering it in from root to tip and massaging it in to make sure that everything gets coated. All right, and then once everything is applied, I'm going to take some plastic wrap and some foil and I am going to protect and like close off where I applied the bright white toner. And then the color I'll be using is the Ion Brights, I think it is, um, in the shade Hot Red and it's a semi-permanent. So 
in order for us to get from the stark 613 hair color to jet black we want to mask the color so you have to put like red because i think what's the science behind it i feel like red absorbs the most color i think that is i think that's what it is i will put it on the screen if i'm wrong i don't know but um i poured some into the tube into the bowl i didn't use the entire tube and i added hot water to make a stretch and i didn't uh all, not all so to make a stretch and also so that um it's not too um like creamy i wanted it to be more of like a liquid and um you know i could apply it anyhow because we have um what's the word called vaseline on the frontal so i don't gotta worry about staining you know now it is like a lot of work to like get the vaseline out but it's better to be safe than sorry because ain't nobody got time to be trying to figure out how to get red dye out of a frontal it's too much work Using foils to dye hair is like the bane of my existence. For some weird reason, I couldn't find my highlight wraps until literally today. And I, f I filmed um, the process of dyeing this wig last week. So <laughs> I found my highlight wraps in my hair closet and I it was like right up against the wall. So I couldn't see it because they're white. But I hate using foils to like dye hair because you gotta like make it straight and they don't stay on sometimes like it's just too much work also to minimize bleeding because we are just dyeing a section of the wig you don't want it to like bleed onto the rest of the wig of the hair so what i did was let it let the hair dye dry out i lit literally let it dry out and then i went to the sink and i used very 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 cold water um y'all saw me put it in the what's the thing called y'all saw me put the hair in foils before and then i took it out afterwards so that it would completely dry out so that when i rinse it out it's um it doesn't bleed onto the hair or whatever you know what i mean All right, so I'm rinsing out the hair. This is a very bad angle. Oh, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't. I wasn't able to film it properly. But what I did was, um, y'all see like the little specks of foil and stuff. The hair that I separated, like the bright white toner, I rinsed that out last after I got as much of the um, red dye out as possible, so that it wouldn't like bleed onto the hair when I rinsed the entire wig. And since I rinsed it out with cold water, Vaseline was still on the frontal, so I was still able to. Um, what's the word? Um, I didn't have to reapply the Vaseline because the Vaseline was literally still on the frontal. Okay, so it did bleed a teeny tiny bit, but that's okay. That's okay. We're gonna mask it again. We're gonna cover it with the black hair dye. So I took um, just very, very cheap um, conditioner and I slathered all the white hair so that when I apply the black dye, it wouldn't bleed as much onto the white hair. Cause I did get a little bit of bleeding, but I feel like it pulled the look together. It kind of made it look sickening. You know what I mean? So we're applying the conditioner all over the um, wig where the white parts are. And then I'm going to be taking Wella's um, 
gel permanent hair color in the shade one N black and i didn't use the entire tube because again we're not dying the entire wig we're just dying two sections of the wig so mix that with um 20 volume developer and then i applied it on did the foil thing but this time i didn't let it dry out when i um was letting it process i just left it on for an hour left it on for an hour and then um yeah i was kind of nervous because i thought it wasn't going to die i don't know why because every article i read asked when i was trying to figure out how i was going to achieve the like transferring coloring it from blonde to black i was i was trying to figure out how i was going to like achieve that um very very dark jet black but um yeah i was able to do it just because dyeing it red and all that stuff you know very easy very simple Alright, so I left it on for an hour and I repeated the rinsing process that I did with the red dye. And then I didn't film this on camera, but I put Ion Color Sealer so to prevent it, prevent it from any further bleeding. And then this is how she looks when she's wet, whatever. And then this is how she looks when she's dry. And I curled her with um, my one and a half curling iron that I got from Amazon. Yeah. She's a very cute girl. I'm really here for it. Even like the little bleeding under the black parts. I feel like it really pulls the look together. But you know, here's me. We're about to do a ball cap. We're about to do the full install. We're not doing no shortcuts when we're applying this wig. You know, I got a fresh braid down. Shout out to um, my braider. I'll put her information on the screen. I forgot her Instagram name. Not even going to hold you. But I found her last minute and she did a great job because I'm tired of braiding down my hair. It's a lot of effort. It's a lot of effort and I'm reaching to the point where I need another retouch for a tech slacks. And I feel like I'm going to stretch it because I don't feel like doing that right now. So I might get braids or twists or something. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, um, we are cleaning the hairline and then we are going to pop the um, thing on. We're going to use the Eben Wonder Lace Spray. I like to use that for the ball cap. And then we're also going to be using the Eben Wonder Lace Bonding Glue. Because, you know, y'all know I rave about the spray. Love it to death. Love it so much. And then I ran out. Well, I was starting to run out. So I told my dad to re- like re up you know what i mean but then he also got me the bonding glue and you know i'm really here for it because this wig is still stuck on my head and it's a lot of effort to take her off so we're going to keep her on overnight and y'all know i do not like to keep my wigs on overnight anybody got time for that okay i do not have time but because of how like this thing's not moving it's not moving i cooked dinner today i made um seafood pho like the hot kitchen was hot I didn't use the vent the vent fan because I don't like the sound of it. But um, <laughs> like the wig did not budge. It's still on my head. I washed my face. I took I took a shower. I took off all my makeup, and the wig is still on my head. Okay, so um, usually like when I do like a frontal install, I don't let the wig come to bed with me because I ain't got time. For it. It's it's too much. And then when I wake up the next day, my head gets extremely itchy. But this wig. I feel like maybe because I don't know, girl, I don't know, but it's staying on my head today because it's going to I feel like it's going to be a lot of effort to take her off and I just don't have the time. <laughs> okay, so I'm taking um, an old foundation. What is it? I'm taking the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation in 362 Truffle and then I'm going to be using that with a Real Techniques brush and I am applying it inside the lace. I don't know where I put my lace tint. I lost it <laughs> when I was cleaning my filming room. <laughs> I don't know where I put it. So I used it to, I used um, just the Maybelline foundation and put it all over the lace. And then, you know, it, it came together. I did it with, I do it with my kinky straight installs. I do it with my other frontal installs. It just, it looks amazing. You know what I mean? And it doesn't look too heavy. I don't like the, um, the, what are they called? The lace tints that I see on the market. They look very thick and dense when you spray on a lace. Like, I feel like it's gonna interrupt the process of like having the wig adhere, ad is it adhered? Adhered? I think it's called adhered to your scalp, you know? And it's mm, not, I'm not feeling it.
Okay, so I am achieving the bald cap or whatever. We're taking the uh, Maybelline Superstay Foundation in the shade 362 Truffle. And I'm taking the Real Techniques brush and applying it all over the front third of my head. Yeah. Um, I'm not a professional with this bald cap stuff. I don't like to um, cut too far back first. I like to cut low and then we gradually continue cutting until where the wig will lay is where I will stop cutting. Like you see me put it on the head to see where I'm going to cut. That's how I achieve it, you know? That's how I achieve a seamless frontal install. All right, so now I am just cutting little, I'm cutting my frontal into three parts so that I can apply it and make it secure on the head properly because I don't know how y'all wig magicians do like the whole, like y'all don't cut your frontals into sections and you just apply the whole thing at once. That's not how my brain works. I gotta do it in sections. So y'all see me pulling back the bald cap a little bit. We're gonna keep pulling it back until it reaches to the point where the wig will lay. And then, um, yeah, just taking eyebrow razor to cut it off. And the eyebrow razor is great because you get close enough to this head, but not like, and it gets like a jagged effect so it looks more natural. All right, so after we have cut all of our pieces off, I am showing y'all, listen, this is the best lace glue ever. Literally the best lace glue ever. Now I was a bit skept, I was a bit nervous when I tried to apply this wig on cause it's been a while since I've done like a frontal wig install. Like literally, I feel like I haven't done one since December. Yup, December of last year when y'all saw me apply the kinky straight front. <laughs> that is literally the last time I tried to do one. And then I tried to do one. No, I tried to do one last week, but I did it with the Eben spray. I didn't do it with the glue. I, I don't know how to apply a frontal with the spray. I don't know how to do that. I, I, I just don't know. So I like to use the glue. The glue makes my life easier. I ain't got, uh, it's just, it's more, it's, I mean, it's a lot of, it's more work, but I feel more comfortable using glue to apply a frontal and then using the sprays for the closures. All right, so y'all saw me look a little like concerned because the wig was, I mean, the glue was not turning clear, but that's okay. It's okay. Like when it feels like very sticky, like your finger will get stuck to your forehead when you touch the glue, it's ready. And then we're gonna take an elastic band to, um, secure onto the head and then let me tell y'all something i use the even spray on top and i feel like that's what like the glue and the spray together top tier combo top tier combo but i use an elastic band to keep it on my head and because i was in not secure like i was very nervous i thought it was going to be white after i pulled it off i literally kept the elastic band for like an hour and a half and i just watched tv <laughs> just to make sure because this is my first time using the glue but i i love it it really did its thing All right, so now we are cutting the lace, you know, we're trying to get as close to the hairline as possible. I like to cut a little bit behind the hairline, not even gonna hold you. I feel like it makes it look more natural, you know what I mean? And um, we're going to use, what is it called? We're going to be using my NYX No Filter Finishing Powder. 
I used that to um, blend it a little bit. And then I also sprayed um, the tail of my dye brush or was it a tail comb? I can't remember because my thing is lagging and I can't see it. It's not like, like the screen I'm seeing, like y'all hear me talking. I don't know what it's gonna look like when in this video processes because I don't know my editing software. I love it a lot. I'm not buying a Mac. I refuse because why am I buying a Mac just for editing software? The logistics it doesn't make sense you know what i mean so we're gonna stick i'm gonna stick beside them i'm gonna stick beside this editing software but um <laughs> i'm using the nyx no filter finishing powder to apply it and then i'm taking the spray on my the tail of my dye brush or my tail comb and i'm just tapping it against the um what's that thing called the hairline yeah All right, and then I'm taking the spray and I'm spraying it directly on the hairline. I feel like using the spray with the glue really makes it, plus the whole foundation on the lace thing, like when you're trying to make your lace tinted or whatever, really makes the whole application process look so seamless. I love it so much. All right, so now we have reached my least favorite part of um, the wake application baby hairs and sideburns i don't know how to do them i don't know how to do them nor do i and also i don't like them too dramatic the sideburns that they're they're very heavy in this but i don't know how to make them light i don't my my fingers to the brain hand eye coordination i don't know what's going on but um <laughs> we're gonna take little scissors and snip them off so that they are um short because you don't want long ass sideburns even though they are kind of still long in this um wig application but it's okay it's all right um and then i used i sprayed the toothbrush with the um even spray and then i used it to slick down the baby hairs and also the sideburns it's a lot of work oh so now we're at the nyx stuff okay we're using nyx no filter finishing powder uh pressing it into the hairline so it looks more natural um where am i now i don't know but um yeah <laughs> i'm looking a little nervous i'm looking a little nervous i'm looking pensive you know i gotta like examine it. you gotta lean back and look get the full picture to make sure that you like it or not because you know i said by fire by force this wig application must be done today and it will be successful in the name of jesus you know i had to pray about it <laughs> because <laughs> the last wig application i tried to do last week it, it was a fail it was a fail i didn't even bother filming it i got irritated my mood was just shot but um so the last seamless like i keep saying seamless but the last thing i like to do to make the wig look as natural as possible i take the even spray and then i take my nairobi um foam wrap lotion and then i mix it and then i apply it throughout the entire hairline and then it makes it look top tier, top tier. Ooh, and then, you know, we put on a little makeup. We did like a cute neutral beat with like a foxy wing or whatever and a foxy lash. And I'm here for it. You know, we got to refresh the curls because I was running my fingers throughout throughout it while applying the makeup. And then I didn't keep the net on while do, applying the makeup. So the curls kind of dropped. But it's okay. It's cool. It's calm. Um, but I'm really here for it. I'm really here for it. She's giving. She's really giving. You know, we have to use the hot comb presser out and all that stuff. But bitch, it's sickening. I love how this turned out. I'm happy that this idea came to me. You know what I mean? And I'm really hope you guys enjoyed this video because tens all across the board, all across the board. I really did that. I really did that with the like, application, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what other color combinations y'all want me to do. This wig might be in my wig uh, sale. We'll see. Not even gonna hold you. But um, because I'm, I'm, I'm really feeling it. So I might keep it for myself for what? I don't know, but we'll see. But yeah, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please just like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. All right, bye-bye.